and Homeland Security, if they could, would have you wear taser bracelets. That's why they're starting out at the airport. Now with Trusted Traveler, they want you to wear a bracelet you're given when you get there, like a concentration camp victim. That's where all this is going. And it's all sold as safety. Why, these smart meters on your house are great. And the engineers at the time went public more than a decade ago in California when Enron was pushing it. This is like 14 years ago. And said, the plan is to tax you during peak times and to control your thermostat and other appliances. These things are meant to dial in to the new smart appliances that are coming out in the next decade. And then we told you, we warned you, they had national media say I was insane. There was no plan to tax you by the mile. There was no black boxes in the cars to tax you by the mile. There was no smart meters. There was no NSA. There was no warrantless wiretapping. There was no data mining. There was no cancer viruses in the vaccines. GMO wasn't killing rats. The government wasn't funding Al-Qaeda. Now it's all public. I have news here where Western funded and backed Al-Qaeda in Pakistan is killing people and uh, where the government is sentencing Christians to prison and all sorts of uh, stuff, sentenced to death over texting uh, and, 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 you know, not buying into everything the government's pushing. Uh, Catholic priests uh, being murdered uh, and churches being blown up on a daily basis. There's new articles on that today uh, out of Syria. Famed Jesuit priests abducted, beaten, and executed in Syria. That's out of McClatchy. This is a daily basis by Western-funded, U.S. government-funded Al-Qaeda. And then they want you to wear a taser bracelet because you might be Al-Qaeda. Notice they said the terrorists attacked us because they hate our freedom. That's actually true. The globalists have funded radical Islam. They have protected radical Islam. They have done all of this so that they can take over countries that are westernizing and that are a threat to globalist hegemony. They can knock countries back to the Stone Age. They can destroy multicultural, multi-religious areas like Syria, Egypt, Libya, you name it, and put in Saudi Arabian psycho jihadis. And by the way, Paul Watts has been writing articles about how the feminist groups uh, are saying men shouldn't be able to be fathers and all sex is rape and uh, saying the word bossy is evil and all this other stuff. Will not criticize Saudi Arabia where they execute women if they get caught driving basically. And then I notice radical Muslims on Infowars.com saying how dare you demonize Islam by reporting on this. Listen, I'm not. Islamophobic. I don't hate Muslims. I'm against all these illegal wars. I'm against turning Al Qaeda loose in all these countries and overthrowing them. But Saudi Arabia is funding Hollywood. It's funding the media. It owns part of Fox News. The government of Saudi Arabia does. Look it up. They own part of CNN. The Chinese government's influence on our media. No one will criticize Saudi Arabia, but they'll say, if I like to wear the pants around the house, I'm some kind of sexist pig. Well, let me tell you something. Women like you to wear the pants, men. That's why most of you men get thrown to the curb. The truth is everything they sell to women out there is meant to destroy women. And if men would start wearing the pants again in this country, we wouldn't be slaves ruled by the government and the media and the propagandized, brainwashed population. Men have absolutely turned the world over to the corrupt men that run the New World Order. And believe me, it's a man's world. There's articles out about the worst uh, payment inequity between men and women in the White House ever. Well, of course, who do you think runs the White House? Men. It's all a bunch of talk to get men and women fighting with each other down at the grassroots level. Because there's a war on women, a war on men, a war on the family. Last month, we had the war on men. This month, the magazine is the modern Maryland, the war on women. Next month's issue is the war on children and the family. And you take these three magazines together, you've got a 68, 68, 68. We're talking about almost a 200-page book. A 200-page book of the war on humanity, scientifically big pharma. This is like an alien species coming to the planet 
and putting clones down generationally to take over the government, and now they're in control. And this is what an alien species would do if it wanted to quietly, without a bunch of fuss, exterminate humanity. You would incrementally sterilize people. You would incrementally soft kill the population. You would dumb them down. You would destroy their values. You would domesticate. You would annihilate. And I'm not saying it's space aliens, you know, the watchers from, from the Kyber belt. All I'm saying is that it might as well be that. That's the level of what you're facing. And you're designed as a human to face threats. You're designed as a human to thrive when you're under attack and you recognize the enemy, it makes you stronger. Nietzsche was right. That which does not kill you only makes you stronger. If you're aware of the attack and persevere through it. <clears throat> but if you adapt to the attack and give in to it, there's a bad type of adaptation and you, you, you learn to live with the incremental slavery, you will finally fade away and be destroyed. So imagine in the land of the free, in the home of the brave, they want you to wear a bracelet to have a gun, your smart meter put on forcibly by the state gouges you and surveils everything you do in your home on record, on record, along with everything else, and, and, and then Homeland Security is still having meetings and are still studying making you wear a shock bracelet when you fly. Everyone, men, women, and children. And I guarantee you, if they announce it, peer pressure, half the public will go, come on. The terrorists hit us on 9-11. Let's do this. No more problem with hijacking. Look at how we're held hostage by the fear and the trauma-based mind control of 9-11 when the very same criminal interests that staged 9-11 are running the Al-Qaeda operations today. And it's not even our government. It is the criminal networks. It's a fact. It's now in the BBC. Cy Hirsch just came out in the New Yorker yesterday. Weeks after we did, well, four or five months after we broke it all last year, but more of it happened two weeks ago. Turkey staged terror attacks and was planning more terror attacks to be able to have a full military assault on Syria. They're caught between Al-Qaeda forces coming out of Iraq and then other jihadis they're bringing in and training right on the border and the Russians are there in a proxy war. And again, people say, well, why are you siding with the Russians? I'm not siding with the Russians. I'm siding with we don't start wars against innocent countries that didn't do anything with a proxy of Al-Qaeda. It'd be bad enough if they were trying to start a war and overthrow Assad to actually put in liberty. They, our government hasn't tried to put in freedom-oriented regimes since the late 1950s. Our government puts in dictatorships, folks. Our government wants to bring down countries, just like the globalists want to bring us down. Cy Hirsch, U.S. intelligence feared Turkish-Syrian supply. You can go to Infowars.com. It's a new article, uh, and it links through to uh, the... the um, New Yorker magazine where Kurt wrote an article about it yesterday. Headline, Cy Hirsch, Turkey, Saudi Arabia staged nerve gas attack. And then we're plotting for the new ones with the defense minister recorded by the Russians. They're jacking the phone lines as well and putting out their NSA stuff saying, yeah, we can stage this. We can stage that. Hey, let's not talk about this on the phone. You know, the, the army general says we can stage stuff. We're good at that. Folks. Part of war is staging stuff. I, I hate to have to tell you that, but generally what you do is you send in an expeditionary force to draw out the enemy force to get intel, knowing the gambit of the pawn is going to be wiped out. Seymour Hirsch reveals Turks and Saudis work together with al Nusra in a stage attack. So that's what's going on. This is totally illegitimate. And, and, and you know what? I don't care if a TSA person's ignorant or a cop's ignorant at the airport and wants to come over and ask me where I'm going, what I'm doing, like I'm a terrorist. You're setting up domestic internal checkpoints to overthrow our republic, and it's your family and your birthright as well. This police state's being set up, police, because they're going to take everyone's pension funds, and they're going to devalue the stock market, and they're going to impoverish this country if they can get away with it. If they study the tea leaves and all the uh, data that they're aggregating in the data mining and know that they won't be able to pull this off, they won't do it. Exposing their plans, exposing their mega false flag nuke attack plans. 
which you now see Obama hyping, as I told you he would do, that means they're actually thinking about doing it. I've been telling you that for five, six years. They start hyping nuke attacks on New York and not saying who's going to be behind it. Look out, because that means they're looking at playing that card. I'll guarantee you they got nukes already in place right now in most major cities. And it isn't the Russians that have done it. They've got some as well. That's come out, actually, in their embassies and other facilities. The word is they've been dismantled, though, under, under treaty, secret treaty. The point is, is that all hell is going to break loose. Government's not digging into bunkers and trying to take on gun owners for no reason. They want to break this country once and for all. They want to bring us down, the globalists. They have a score to settle with America. Let's go back to the taser bracelets uh, that Homeland Security is looking at for you and your family to fly. By further equipping each bracelet with EMD technology, the bracelets will allow crew members using radio frequency transmitters to quickly and effectively subdue hijackers. The electromuscular disruption signal overrides the attacker's central nervous system and will render even the most elite and aggressive terrorist complete.